Here's lesson seven and five tenths, multiplying mixed numbers by whole numbers. So why are we learning about multiplying mixed numbers and whole numbers? Well, we're gonna build on the last lesson where we learned how to multiply fractions by whole numbers. So we just had a fraction and a whole number. Today, we're gonna to be looking at how to take a mixed number and multiply that times a whole number. So we're gonna look at several strategies for multiplying uh, those two kinds of numbers together today, and that's gonna help you be a good problem solver because you're gonna determine which strategy works best for you. So let's get started. So we're gonna look at the problem five times four and two thirds equals A. And the first strategy that we're gonna look at, which is one that we've used many times before, is draw a picture. And as you can see, I have drawn some bars and colored in to represent four and two thirds five times. So this would be my one whole, two, three, four, and then here's my two thirds. So each row is equal to four and two thirds. And since I have five rows, we're multiplying by five. Our next method is repeated addition. So we've used this method many times before, but in this instance, we're gonna have a mixed number that we are adding. So we've got four and two thirds, plus 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 four and two thirds. So if I add all of my whole numbers first, I get 20. And then I'm gonna add my numerators, which I get 10. And of course we put that over three as our denominator. And we have 20 and 10 thirds. So we're gonna turn that into 23 and 1 third as our final answer because 10 thirds of course is larger than one, so we need to change that into a bigger mixed number. So that's our second strategy. So our third strategy is to actually take that mixed number, the four and two thirds, and turn it into just a fraction. So how do we do that? We take this whole number, four, and we multiply it times three. That's going to give us 12. Then we're going to add this two to the 12, and now we have 14 over three. So we have turned four and two thirds into just a plain fraction. And then what we will do is we will actually multiply the five times the 14 thirds. So we're basically doing um, five times 14 as our numerator over three, which when we multiply that out gives us 70 over three, and then if we divide three into 70, we're gonna end up with 23 and one third as our final answer. So this is changing the mixed number to a fraction and then multiplying it times the whole number. So our fourth strategy is to use partial products to multiply. And you might be wondering how in the world are we gonna use partial products when we've got a mixed number? So basically, um, what I've done is I've set up the problem here just like I would write it normally, but I'm gonna take apart the four and two thirds. So as you can see, I scooted the five over here, put my multiplication sign, and then in parentheses, I took apart that four and two thirds. So here's my whole number, four, and here's my fraction part of that mixed number, two thirds. So I've got that in parentheses just to kind of separate it out. And then I'm going to move that four down here and I'm gonna actually multiply it times the five. I'm gonna move the two thirds below that and multiply that times the five. And we're gonna add those together eventually. 
So five times four is 20. And then five times two gives me my 10. And then I bring my three down for my denominator, which 10 thirds is equal to three and one third when we change that to a mixed number. So now I add my 20 plus my three and one third, which gives us a final answer of 23 and one third. So I want you to be thinking about our final answer, 23 and one third, and can you tell me between what two whole numbers does your answer lie? So if we were gonna put that on a number line, what two whole numbers would that mixed number be between? So in class, we will look closely at mixed numbers and explore different strategies of multiplying mixed numbers and whole numbers. Are you ready? See you then.